Hi everyone, it is Monday, June 22nd, and uh, today at work I was just trying to get my reading vlog up for last week, so that is up for ya, and didn't really get a whole lot of reading done while I was at work. I was trying to listen to The Darkest Whisper by Gina Showalter because we have to read this book and the next book, The Darkest Passion, by Wednesday for the live stream, and then the Audible app. After I updated it, last night it just kept crashing like it would only play for like a minute and then it would just crash i tried like deleting it and then reinstalling it and it would still just crash um i did talk to audible on twitter and they said they're aware of the situation just be patient they're trying to fix it meanwhile i have no audiobooks to listen to it drives me nuts and then i also started a buddy read city of brass uh with olivia at olivia's catastrophe and I meant to have our section read before eight o'clock at night, but here we are. But I've read the first chapter. I'm really, you know, intrigued so far. Didn't really read the synopsis, kind of want to go into it, kind of blind. But yeah, so hopefully I'll get all these books read without an audiobook. Testing my superpower here. And we did have an impromptu live stream on Jen's channel um, for, we called it In Defense of the Romance Genre. It was a lot of fun. I love talking with those ladies. I'll link it in the description if you didn't catch it live. everyone it's tuesday june 23rd and i got to work about 45 minutes ago i was able to find a way to listen to audible um just not with the app because it does keep crashing i brought up a web browser you can do the desktop version on your phone and you can find your library there and listen to it on a web browser so thank goodness because the app still keeps crashing on me which is very frustrating because jen jen says she's listening to audible just fine like she has the same phone as me and well, I asked her if she updated the app because my problems didn't start until I updated the app. So I don't know. I'm going to be focused on listening to The Darkest Whisper because I need to finish this today and start the next one today as well and get through at least half of it. That is my goal. So unfortunately, my buddy read will probably have to be put on hold for the day because I need to get the books read for the live stream. Hi, everyone. It's about seven o'clock at night. Uh, got home and finished The Darkest Whisper by Gina Showalter. This is book number four in the Lords of the Underworld series. This is following Sabin, who is the Keeper of Gout, and Gwen, who is a harpy. I need to start and get through at least half of the next book, which is The Darkest Passion, which is Aaron's story. But as of right now, my husband and I are going on a bike ride. Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, June 24th, and it's pretty late at night. I think it's like 10 o'clock maybe. Um, I didn't get to vlog at all today and I apologize. Uh, today, Jen Jen and I went live discussing The Darkest Whisper and The Darkest Passion. I finished The Darkest Passion today, just in time for the live stream. I think I finished it with like an hour to spare. The Darkest Passion follows Aaron and Olivia in the Lords of the Underworld series. It is book number five. So that is the last live stream that Jen Jen and I are doing for the Lords of the Underworld. We are moving on. Next month we are discussing the Twilight series because Midnight Sun is coming out in August. So we want to recap the whole series. So we are prepared for Midnight Sun. Uh, so next month's live streams are going to be for Twilight. I am keeping up on my buddy read with Olivia at Olivia's Catastrophe. Um, we are about, after I read tonight's section, I want to say we're about a, a third of the way into City of Brass. The author does a really good job at engaging the audience and keeping them intrigued with the story. Um, there are different uh, POV chapters. So the first time the POV switched, it was kind of jarring. Um, didn't really ease us into it at all. It was just like, bam, we're in another city, another person. And, but I just kind of went with it. Uh, Olivia and I both said the same thing, you know, as long as you just 
don't try to understand everything like in the beginning of the book obviously like the author is still explaining stuff to you just kind of go with it and then um it's still really intriguing and i love the mythology it's surrounding deva and jinn and afrits and it's just really really interesting so far i don't know if there's going to be a romance in this book um but it just seems like that's where it's leading to with two characters um, it just seems like it has a really good setup for a hate to love trope and I just I love that so much. Uh, Olivia and I are really enjoying this book so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I have to read today's section and discuss with her and I will see you all tomorrow. Just do the wallet. What wallet? The one you took from the dead girl. What makes you think that? Because you're not nearly a good enough chess player to win enough money to buy a nice scotch like that. I'm not. No. Checkmate. In seven. You can tell us about the wallet now, or we can find the wallet with your prints on it and bring it down to the CBI. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone! Today is Thursday, June 25th, and it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting like so bad at like updating y'all in the morning, and I'm so sorry about that. Ooh, sorry. Um, but today I picked back up A Promise of Fire. I started to listen to that on Saturday when I went to the chiropractor, but then I just had too many books to read, you know, for the live stream. So I had to put it aside, but I picked it back up today and oh my God, I'm loving it so much. Honestly, like the fantasy romance has just been hitting so good. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, here's the book. This is what it looks like. And like this cover, God, this cover is gorgeous. I mean, look at her. She looks like she can kick some ass. And I would thank her afterward. God, it's so good. And now I'm just watching the Romance Booktubers Ask Us Anything 2.0 live stream. After that, I'm hoping to finish A Promise of Fire because I'm almost done. But yeah, I will update y'all a little later. What's a recent favorite? And I said Beach Read. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Um, series... I went with the Cloverleaf Farm series by Melanie Harlow. I really like Sarah Morgan's From Manhattan with Love series. Hi everyone. It's about 11 o'clock at night and I just finished A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. And I gotta tell you, this book is amazing. I love this book. I honestly... I couldn't tell you one thing that I didn't like about it. I said it once, I'll say it again. I've said it a thousand times. The fantasy romance has been hitting me different. It's just been so good, honestly. This book has it all that I like, at least. It has the fantasy, it has the Greek mythology, it has the alpha hero, it has a hate to love romance, and their banter is amazing. The angst, it's kind of a slow burn because while they ha there's some heavy petting times, they don't really consummate until like, I've, I've marked it, obvious. Oh yeah, it's right here. This is the end, guys, over here. This is the end. So, slow burn, for sure. But 
it was so good. She is like this sassy, snarky, badass bitch. Like she's powerful. Griffin, who is the male MC, he has like this group of uh, warriors that are basically like his guard. And there are, there are multiple times where they get into some binds and she saves their asses. Like, sign me up. She is amazing. It's a five-star read. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed it. I'm moving on to book number two because I have it. It's up there somewhere. I believe there's three books in this series. Yeah, so this is book number one. And then the other two other two are down here which I have these so oh yeah I'm moving on to book number two because this shit was so good I didn't read anything for my buddy read um uh, for City of Brass but um Olivia oh my god what's my hair doing Olivia didn't either so I think you know we're just gonna double up tomorrow now that I finished this book I'm gonna go to bed I will see you all tomorrow hi everyone it's Friday June 26th and I just got to work like 30 minutes ago. And on the way to work, I was listening to A Breath of Fire. We're off to a rough start with this book without giving too much away. Obviously our female main character, you know, she has magical abilities, but she also has secrets. And she didn't divulge those secrets to Griffin, who is her male love interest in the first book. So right away in this book, he finds out and um, they have a really big fight. And I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> I don't like this at all. I can't wait to continue on. I need to know more. Um, but I also need to catch up on my buddy read for uh, the City of Brass. So um, I'll do that before I get too deep into Breath of Fire because I know if I continue to read that book, I won't stop until I'm done because that's what happened yesterday. Hey everybody, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I just got home and I was supposed to catch up on my buddy read for City of Brass before I left work today, but that didn't happen because I'm a terrible person. I'm exhausted y'all, my head hurts. My head hurts so bad. So I am going to lay down until my husband gets home, which probably is gonna be soon. But yeah, I just hope I can get this migraine to go away. I'm gonna try and read, but I'm probably gonna fall asleep. But um, an exciting thing that happened was that I just got first round beta reader notes for my pirate novel. So that's exciting. I've been having trouble finishing this series because I was just in a writing slump. It was supposed to happen back when there was a camp for NaNoWriMo back in April, April, I think. And it just didn't happen. I failed. I epically failed for that NaNoWriMo. So, so hopefully going through that and doing first round edits would just get me, get the creative, you know, juices flowing. And hopefully I can finish this series before the end of the year. Cause that would be really amazing because I would like, you know, first round uh, beta edits for all three books. That would be amazing. Hi everyone. It is Saturday, June 27th. I'm in kind of a weird place today. Last night there was some uh, issues on Twitter. Honestly, when is there not issues on Twitter? But yeah, it just kind of put me in a really weird, sad space. So, which is unfortunate because I wanted to do a lot of things today. I wanted to film a lot of things. I had like three videos I wanted to film and I'm just, I'm not feeling it. So this morning I woke up and I took a shower and, you know, I just decided like, I tried to put on some like Disney princess Pandora PlayStation to kind of get me feeling better and talking to my romance buddies about it. And everyone's, you know, love and support is really, you know, wonderful. And I love each and every one of you who have reached out and Thank you from, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm just trying to feel better today just so because I really, I really want to get all these things filmed. I also have to read Persuasion today because tomorrow there is a live stream discussion on Taylor's channel. So just have um, Disney music playing and trying to get my notes together to film something. Hopefully I'll feel better after I get, you know, my TBR set and my answers ready for the mid-year book freakout tag. And so I'm going to, I'm going to make some coffee and... Try to make myself feel better. Hi, everybody. It's about almost five o'clock. Shit. 
in the evening. I had such a hard time getting my TBR together. That took such a long time. I wanted to have all my notes and TBR and stuff ready to film three videos today. And I wanted it all done, like filming and everything by noon. And here we are, five o'clock. <laughs> I did get all three videos filmed, thank God. And then I do have all my videos for the week uploaded so I can edit my vlog. I just wanted to get a lot more done today than I did. And I wanted to be done with my reread of Persuasion to have it fresh in my head. You know, I still have time tonight. My husband is, you know, working today. I just don't know when he's gonna be home. It's probably gonna be later and give me time to reread this book. I wanted to at least have edited one of these videos too. And I just, if I'm gonna read this book in time for tomorrow, it's just not gonna happen. So at least I have it all filmed. Oh, and I did the thumbnails for two of them. I haven't done the thumbnail for my vlog yet. Y'all, I hate doing thumbnails. Hate it. I'm not good at doing thumbnails. If anybody wants to do a thumbnail tutorial for me I would love you forever I don't know why I struggle so hard with thumbnails I don't know why and I wanted <laughs> I also wanted to get caught up on my buddy read for City of Brass and that's not gonna happen either I just wanted to get all this done before my husband came home because if he wanted to do something like you know watch The Mentalist or go out I would have all that stuff done and I wouldn't have to worry about it and actually you know have a good time I'm at the point where I'm just like fuck it I want to go to bed gotta look on the bright side I got three videos film today. I got those uploaded to iMovie. I got my vlog clips uploaded to iMovie. I made my thumbnail for two of the videos. I'm gonna be happy with what I got done. I got a lot accomplished today and now I'm just going to lay down and read Persuasion and then after that I'm gonna catch up on City of Brass and then we'll see where we are from there. Hello everybody. Uh, finally rolled out of bed on this Sunday nearly afternoon. It's about 11 o'clock. Nearly. I'm gonna make myself some coffee. Uh, my my Amazon package was just delivered, and I'm just gonna show you what I got. So, the first thing, the first thing I got is not a book, but I saw it on Natalie's channel, Nat at uh, this is Nat's Nook, and it is like this uh, black Jamaican castor leave-in conditioner. She said it was really good at moisturizing her curls, so I definitely uh, need that because as you can see, I mean, this is, I mean, I've slept on these curls, but like they're so dry and icky. I definitely just need to like trim my hair too, but I don't want to spend the money to go get it professionally cut, so there I am with that. Yeah, I'm gonna try this out uh, today. And then, I got Take a Hint, Danny Brown. Oh, I can't wait to read this book. Oh, the Brown sisters are just beautiful. I love it. And then I got Real Men Knit. Look at this cover. It's just so freaking cute, right? I love it. I can't wait to read these books. And also try my leave-in conditioner. Today I have a live stream um, on Taylor's channel and we're discussing persuasion. And then after that, probably before and after that, I'm gonna be doing some editing because I did film those three videos yesterday, um, kind of get them ready to go up during the week. And I do have to catch up on City of Brass because I'm behind, but so is Olivia. So we're behind together. Um, we're finishing that by the end of the month. So I'm, we're about halfway through and that's really what I'm gonna be doing today. <laughs> I'm just defrosting some ribs for dinner. Hey everybody, um, it's 1.15. The ribs have been smoking for nearly two hours. Smoking it on the grill, I have this like spice. This kind of, this kind of spice. Come on, focus. I don't, that's not focusing, sorry. But, so I have that spice. And then I put a little bit of cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg just to give it a little bit of a little something extra. Don't tell my husband because he will not like it if he knows that's in there. You probably won't be able to taste it. It was literally like just a sprinkle in. So at the two hour mark, we got to take them off the smoker, increase the temperature. We got to put it in a foil bath. Basically, it's going to have apple juice, honey, brown sugar, and something else. Oh, and butter. Maybe for like a caramelized effect. But so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. And in another 
40 minutes is the live stream for Persuasion, so I still gotta get ready, so I better hurry up. Alrighty, so I just got done with the Persuasion live stream. Very, very fun. Um, and the ribs have been smoking in that foil bath for a while. So we are going to open it and see how it looks. That's really hot. Obviously. Looks like it's been, looks like it's been windy today, too. juices that we need. They look really good. I have to get that juice out of there, so I'm going to put the camera down. Alrighty, so this, these are the ribs out of the foil. It was much harder than it needed to be. So that's going to cook on there for another 20 minutes to an hour, depending on how done they are. I honestly think it's just going to be like 20 minutes because it's really hard to keep the smoker to temperature, especially because it's so flippin' hot outside, but here we are. So ribs, and then I have these corns that I'm just going to put right in here uh, to smoke and cook so we have some corn to eat as well. And I'm also going to brush it, keep brushing it with some of that juice that we got out of there. These are pretty tender, so honestly, I don't think I'll need to stay on for much longer. try out some of this leave-in conditioner. So, towel, towel 
drying hair. So, as you can see, like, obviously, my curls are very frizzy, even just taking off the towel. So, that usually means that, you know, they're dry. So, I know I need to cut, like, at least this much of my hair off because the ends are just terrible. So, um, just going to, I don't know if we're probably too much on. I don't know how much to use. I mean, see huh? okay so my hair is sort of dry now um I ended up putting like a little too much of the leave-in conditioner because it got kind of like really crispy so um I don't know if you can see that but Can still see it's kind of dry in these sections over here but hopefully some long-term treatments will help out i'm just gonna lay down and uh read city of rest so i think that's about it for this week's vlog i've been seeing some other booktubers like cecilia at that disney chick and nat at this is nat's nook and doing like the emoji thing like i'll tell you what emoji to put in the comments if you make it to the end of the video which i thought was pretty cool if you made it to the end of this vlog put a dolphin emoji in the comments since we're in my bathroom and there's a big old picture of a dolphin over there see you next time